Napa Winery in. So we're here, we're gonna check in, gonna see what's hitting. My hair looks a mess right now, ignore it. But yeah. So this was the lobby area of the hotel. Very cute and quaint, and this is where we could have breakfast as well. Moving on to the room, you see we got two double beds there. It was a nice renovated space. You even see the barn doors going into the bathroom. Everything was nice and clean and sharp. Just how I like it, love a nicely renovated hotel. Um, I really enjoyed the space. There was enough space for me, my mom, and my sister and all our stuff. We even had a sitting chair. So that's what we did for the weekend. So that's it. We're here at the hotel now and we're going to relax for a little bit and get ready because we have dinner tonight at 8.30. So I'm going to get all of this together and see y'all later. We are getting ready to head out to dinner. So here we are at Cole's Chop House for dinner tonight. So this was the fanciest restaurant that we went to throughout our whole weekend in Napa. I did want to point out that there's a downstairs and upstairs, but there's an assistance up the stairs with like an Ameriglide system that helps people with wheelchairs get up the stairs. So it is a fully accessible restaurant. I did want to point that out. I'm going to be honest with y'all, I forgot my microphone at the hotel. <laughs> so I have no microphone, so I'm going to try to yell, but I'm probably not going to give you any food reactions because it's loud in here and you're not going to be able to hear me anyway, but I will show you the food. I'll do better tomorrow. morning everyone from Napa Valley it is the 25th I hope it's the 25th of March <laughs> um, it's 11:02 a.m. we're having a little bit of a later start today but it's because we're adjusting to the time difference um, I've actually never traveled backwards in time so me going to California has actually been a struggle for like my sleep patterns and everything like that so still working that out but we have a lot of wine tastings to do today I remembered to bring my microphone today. <laughs> so we're gonna have a great time today and come along, let's go. So we actually just got, hopefully you can hear me. I realize we're by the road. I'm yelling, uh, as you can see, we got the Tesla chargers behind us. This is our rental um, that we got. So we're here to charge it. And we're also here at the premium outlets to do a little perusing before we go to our first wine tasting. But this is what we got going on. So here's the Tessie. We have the Model 3 2021 that we rented from Turo. It's the long range. And then this is the charger. So you use the car, like the keys inside the car or the control panel to open the charging port. And Sissy just gone. Is it in there? It feels like it's strange. Why does it feel... Child, y'all know we don't know what we're doing, but... There we go. Okay. There it is. Hopefully it's working. Here we are at Acumen. This is where we're doing our first tasting. Acumen Tasting Lounge. This looks very cute. So I will, oh, look. <laughs> Very cute. So I came in because our reservation was at noon to make sure we could get, they're gonna get parking. But this is what we're doing. So here at Acumen, it was actually a gorgeous art gallery that also had wine and champagne tasting. So you can see all of the artwork here. There was some artwork on the outside. Obviously you can't enter further into the gallery unless you're of drinking age, but there was an exhibit there and a lot of the art there, as you can see, was very metallic, very abstract. Even the pillows were art that you'll see later on, but 
I just love this experience. It was very unique and I highly recommend doing a wine or champagne tasting in an art gallery. So I have my microphone, but there's music playing. So <laughs> is this a pillow or is it artwork? It's artwork. <laughs> We're gonna explore a little bit before our next tasting. Hi. Hi. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, thank you. We're doing good. How are you? Back here when the sun came out. Yes. So did. So are we. It was very cold. Yeah. So we didn't know it was gonna be. Oh, excuse me. So you want to just have a seat, Martha? Yeah. Bar Try to do as much flair as possible. Flair as possible. Thank, the vlog appreciates you. There Thank you go. so <laughs> much. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Here's birthday. Yes. Yeah, I put it over here. I didn't need anything else. Oh, I love this. This is like delicious. Yeah. This is great. So we just wrapped it up at um, Acumen oh, and Complein, I think Complein, Complein. So now we're heading to Anarchist Wine Company. So we're doing that. We are here. It is a little after 2 p.m. We're here at Anarchist Wine. It's here in Napa. Uh, so we're here, as you see, the weather has gotten itself together. The sun is shining. The girls are together. <laughs> so I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit. So here we are, this is Anarchist. We have a, a 2 p.m. Yeah. These are my uh, Tra travel vlogs. Travel vlogs. These are my daughters. I love them dear. Not nice. Not so nice. Well, we'll we're all celebrating my birthday. Yes. All right. Happy birthday. Yes. Thank you. So we're out here. Yeah. 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 And we're about to do a tasting flight. Excellent. There you go. All right. So this is made from the Chardonnay grape. Okay. Anytime you see Blanc de Blanc, that'll indicate that it's from Chardonnay. If you see Blanc de Noir. The stemware is hitting. ABD. Then a Pinot, mm. not quite as heavy as a cab, so it okay. kind of hits that middle spot. Mm. All right, there we go. Thank oh, you so much. Absolutely. 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 Hey, more than one. Exactly. Yes. So here we are at Maya Kamas. I hope I'm really pronouncing that right, but here we are. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful day here in Napa. Um, if you're wondering why I don't have any footage from last night, it's because after all of the tastings, <laughs> we took a nap and it ended up being asleep. So we did not go to dinner yesterday anyway. So 
we're here we're gonna get us some breakfast a, a good hearty breakfast i think that's what messed us up yesterday and we have three more wine tastings to do today so come along let's go let's go so here we are at Amola Cafe. This is where we're gonna go for breakfast. Something simple, cute, but we want something hearty. <laughs> There's mommy. <laughs> I forget what kind of omelet I got y'all, but you see it looks amazing. And Ma and Sissy both got corned beef hash. Fuel for the day. <laughs> so we are here. We are pulling up to Shadowbox Cellars. It's a little bit before 1030. So we getting an early start today. <laughs> but we had breakfast, so. See y'all in a bit. <laughs> so here it is. This is if we did the outdoor, but we did the, yeah, we did the salt and acid. Oh, it's nice. Hi. Good. Are you from? Uh, I'm not originally from Napa. I'm actually originally from West Virginia. It's about our days and when they were in law school and I was working here and I just- We have the rosé here and we're pairing that with the Hawaiian red sea salt chip. So he told us to take a sip, uh, take a bite of the chip and take another sip because it's supposed to um, continue developing the flavor of the wine. It smells good. It doesn't taste like any rosé I've had. So now I'm gonna, I can get the chip out the bag. I broke a chip, but. I'll do the next one, right? Excuse me. Oh, we all. <laughs> it does. It tastes different. It does. It does. So that's the first one, and we have five of these pairings to do. So we'll be back. Pro production. So just about forty-seven cases in total. Um, Pinot Noir, though, for me, is one that is very difficult to find a vineyard that I'm excited to work with. I uh, really want something that's going to ripen a little bit more slowly, but consistently develop. And this vineyard is, or where I'm pulling from, has some good fog coverage, allowing us to protect ourselves from the sun a little bit longer over the course of the day. Uh, and when that occurs, it means, again, that sugar isn't going to get into the grape quite as quickly. So we get to keep some of the more earthy flavors. Oh, okay. So with this, I like to think of black truffle. Oh, okay. I like to think a little bit of graphite, even uh, it's um, turmeric. Coming. Okay. Wow. And then the acidity, again, you'll see is going to be a little bit more tart. The boysenberry, pomegranate, cranberry to it. So when you take that sea salt chip, it should be in a similar vein as the rosé. You get the after your sip and then your bite of the sea salt chip and then another uh, sip. You'll see some of those sweet flavors kind of popping out. Got it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> they was talking trash. <laughs> and the peanut gallery. Here we are. It's the Pinot Noir. This is meant to be paired with the Hawaiian red sea salt chip, which I'm currently using to prop up my phone. So I did not think that through, but it's fine. The black Vanna White. That is a really good Pinot Noir. I get berry. Yeah. I get, ooh. <laughs> barely get that. <Yeah. laughs> uh, just break it. Okay. <laughs> I love all the chips, by the way. Yeah, these chips, chips are like. Yeah, that's the, the new one. Yeah. This is the new, that's the cab. Yeah. It is smooth. It's good. You like it with the yeah. um, Himalayan chips? I do. 
Adios. Mom's here for this one. <laughs> so this is the Simeon? Simeon? Like, I don't, y'all. Simeon. Simeon, thank you. I was saying it wrong. So we're Simeon. <laughs> I'm trying my best. <laughs> so this is this one. This one you do not pair with the chip. This one is meant to be drank alone. They said, he said you, you would compare it mostly to a Sauvignon Blanc. I have never tried anything like that. That's a little different. That would be a little different. It's well balanced. But I could sit and drink this one. Yeah, patio I, I, one. So yeah, I, I, one. I could sit okay. and drink this one. You know, half a bottle, yeah. Simeon, 2017. This one has... So we've just arrived here at Hagafin. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Cellars, and we're at the vineyard. So we're gonna see you, or I didn't say that right. I'm gonna show you what's going on inside, but this is where we at, out here in the California sun. from charlotte north carolina oh nice okay y'all so we are here at hagafin they told us how to pronounce it hagafin cellars uh i showed a little clip but we're gonna do five different tastings this is the first tasting this is their 2018 chardonnay It's a shard. It's straight. It's straight. They're <laughs> doing the off dry reasoning. Now, this. This I'll take back home. <laughs> this is it. So this is going to be from the Syrah grape, so it's going to be a little red on it. Oh, it's pretty. It is it's pretty. pretty. And that's just opened by you. So see if you like it. If you don't, you know what you do here? You just chuck it off your own. Just throw it in there. Okay, uh, Marissa will eventually be here. We just saw her too. Cheers, everybody. We're trying the Brut Cuvée. Oh, y'all say it again. That's pretty good. Oh, ma like a wine, y'all. She's pretty good. I'm going to drink all of this one. I like it, too. Nice and bubbly. I like that. Salud. Uh, but we just literally had a mini tour, but, you know, it was classified information. But they put this, the juice and everything in the fermentation tanks and then they put it in the cellars so we got to take a picture by the cellars um the oak barrels i'm going to try the off dry riesling and it's really good you know just having a nice cold glass of wine but having a very sweet glass of wine here we are everybody we have the late harvest Sauvignon Blanc as you can see it is very dark and it looks like honey 
Yes. I'm sure this tastes like syrup. Y'all know I don't like syrup wines, but my mama do. So this is why we're here. That was a winner. Oh, I knew it would be. That was a winner. Whoa. It's a dessert wine. You can simply have it as a straight. everybody so we're here at Prager winery and port works um the sun is shining i do not want to get hit by a car so let me <laughs> let me move so as you can see it was a gorgeous property at prager winery and port works they have a large garden, huge outdoor space, and it just looks gorgeous, shining in the California sun. I'm not the biggest fan of sweet wine, but since ports are aged for so long, I wanted to try something different, especially since we were in wine country. So I wanted to show you all the inside because it was very rustic. It had a rustic feel. You could see the barrels there but also they had so many different currencies. I was amazed on the wall, especially as you all know, I love to travel. So there was so many different currencies that I've seen, I've had, and that I haven't seen and had. And I almost left my Jamaican dollar there, but I wanted to keep it. And this was the outdoor patio where you see the barrels that they aged the port in. And this was where we had our luxurious tasting for the afternoon. And we got a little cheese and nuts, even though I can't eat nuts, but I'm gonna eat the cheese. Blontani. Right. So this is the white port that we make from Chardonnay. And this is aged for 10 and a half years in the barrel. Oh, wow. Jeez. Oh, wow. 10 and a half years Ooh. Yeah, in 10 the year barrel. Old. So, so wow. you're probably 44 when we made this. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's great with apple pie or any fruit Ooh. pie. It's delicious. So this is the blonde tawny. Yeah. yeah, cheese or nuts. Both, nuts. Both right. Okay. Okay. That's an aged Gouda, uh, prima donna. This is really called. good. Oh. And mom makes the nuts. Oh, you My mom oh, does oh, candy. Oh, does candy I nuts. I, I'm allergic, cheese. so I'm going to let them have the nuts. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. It's, but you can eat the cheese. But I am going to eat cheese. the cheese. <laughs> good. So this is the pork. We call it the port port. We didn't oh, give it a wow. first name. Mm. Okay. The port port. It's a blend of uh, uh, petite Syrah that we grow here in oh. Santa Lina and uh, a Portuguese varietal called Tinta Rorish that yes. we up in Calistoga. Oh, wow. Comes off kind of cherry chocolatey. It's great with chocolate. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. So here we are. We have the port. It, like it yes. does smell like chocolate. Okay. I shouldn't have ate the chocolate, but it, it's delicious with it. I'm, no, I'm just saying. The it's wine is good. It, it's well know? balanced. Because this is the chocolate. Oh. Y'all know milk make me itch, so I'm going to do a baby nibble. It's, I think it's dark chocolate, though. Is it dark? It, I mean, it tastes dark to me. Okay. Is it dark? Is that, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. It's dark chocolate. That it's is good. Chocolate. Late harvest Riesling, lightly fortified with brandy. So right now, you do serve this one chilled. Okay. Oh, you serve this one, yeah. chill. So this is the last one that we did. It's the Sweet Madeline. You can see the color. And it tastes really good. It is a late harvest Riesling. Yeah, Ma dropped her cheese. Yeah, I'm gonna call it in real time. That's why it's it tastes amazing. I'm gonna take a nibble of my gouda. Oh, good. I didn't want to get that chocolate. That gouda is next level. Mm -hmm. 
So after all of our tastings, we asked the locals where we should go get us a nice snack. Uh, and they told us to go to Farmstead. So we pulled up at Farmstead. It was actually five minutes down the road from Prager. Uh, and we just got seated at the bar. It was open seating. Uh, they had a good menu, very large, but we just wanted to have a quick drink, quick snack before dinner. So that's what we did. You know, I love oysters. And then we drove, well, I <laughs> drove the Tessie back from St. Helena back to Napa. And that was about a 30 minute drive. We're here, y'all. We are going to dinner. Yes. So I don't want to hear no trash <laughs> talking about nobody. We're going to dinner. I'm driving the Tessie. And we out. We're here in downtown Sonoma. Let's go, everybody. So we're here going to B and V Whiskey Bar and Grill. really good but I didn't record no tasting and nothing because we sleepy we sleepy so we're going back to the hotel to rest up for a little bit and then we're gonna head on out uh, to San Francisco to go to the airport in the morning so see y'all tomorrow morning good morning good morning it's early it's 3 40 a.m. here in San no we're in Napa. We're going to San Fran. It's early. <laughs> Please bear with us. We have about an hour drive um, from Napa to San Fran. Um, we're going to drop back off the rental and then get on our plane. Our flight leaves at 830, but we want to make sure we have ample time. So yeah, see y'all in a bit. Hey y'all, so we're here at the airport. We're dropping off the Tesla at long-term parking. So we're gonna say bye to the Tesla. It was fun. Bye to the Tesla. Bye. Bye. took us maybe five minutes if that it's a little I can't see my watch it's a little before 5 30 I think um and we start boarding at 7 50 so <laughs> we're gonna find somewhere to get some breakfast um I don't have my mic on so I hope you can hear me because I forgot to charge it um but yeah here at this airport early y'all early <laughs> too early so um me and my sister had took a nap on these couches but now it's almost 7 30 so it's about time for us to board our flight it's a five hour flight from san francisco to charlotte straight shot so yeah that's all i got <laughs>
catch y'all on the next one.